All right, and it's time for another demo here on the Super Game Friends. Card and Seal. This is an upcoming thing from Inti Creates. It's like a, well, I mean, it's card deck builder sort of thing, but uh, I wasn't super interested until I tried this demo earlier. So I, I have already played it a bit, but we're just going to play through the tutorial segment because I don't know how much game is allowed after that. Uh, so we'll just play the opening kind of tutorial <clears throat> dungeon, as it were. And, uh, yeah. Just... Oh, th this demo is something. Oh, I was not paying attention to what that said. Oops. Begin game. You're not hurt, are you? I'm sure we can put an end to this mod phenomena if we work together. <laughs> okay. It actually sent us straight to... Well, I thought I deleted my save. Nope. I'd love to hear more about you personally. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god, anime games. Uh I guess we're gonna play this. Let's see. Promise me. Well, that's you won't do interesting. Okay? Uh, we'll do normal uh, hopefully I don't lose, but uh what's this? Currently unavailable. Okay, fine. Uh, we don't really care about what's discoverable. Jesus. Digital world bonds. Hey, this is Kizuna Connect. Oh, you're familiar with this game? Oh, sure am. It's a tactical RPG where you fuse monsters together and have them battle. <laughs> Which is <laughs> sounds like a lot of games now nowadays. Uh, I wager they were most. No, let's see. Digital World Bonds. Uh, it's a dig it's kind of a Digimon reference, I think. Or a pastiche is probably the better uh, uh, better way to put that. Especially since there's uh, quite a few Digimon games that play like Shin Megami Tensei. Especially since I believe this is... May I I it might not necessarily be made of. Oh, sure. Use Recruit. Condition, activate all three amp effects, which is... Uh, after using the card to move... Uh... Wait. Oh, double potency. Oh, those are the amp effects. The will of the sacred tree <laughs> so I did the say I played the... I meant to ask. I played the, uh... And the words to spell my head. Tutorial! So before. So I have a... general idea of how to play the game I detected but I don't remember absolutely everything in perfect detail so let's deal with enemies appropriately <laughs> they really want to ensure that you actually fight entering an area with enemies will raise your memory gauge the higher the gauge the more likely you are to trigger trap events that you put you at a disadvantage defeating all enemies in an area will reduce it selecting recovery as a subjugation bonus will also reduce it okay oh. like the one let's fight something because this was where the game got really interesting to me because it's kind of like if Mega Man Battle Network were actually turn-based. All right, let's see here. Movement is super, super interesting as well, in my opinion. All right, let's see. Let's do this. Would you Get that break. Oh, actually, hmm, let's move. B, so we'll move up. And then... Yeah, that's fine. Oh, perfect. Would you allow me the pleasure of marrying you? Amazing! And I have to let them do stuff out of that anyway, but, you know. There we go. Love it. Because I got those breaks, right? So I've got plenty of... Uh, Boom, boom. There we go. Select which card to recruit. Uh, I'll take that one. Ponzi's going to flood in this direction. We've reached a crossroads. Oh, I'm going to take the break. Break effect is really good. Another battle like the one in YR could wind up breaking. Come on. Actually touch the enemy. Thank you. All right, let's see here. Would you allow me the pleasure of marrying you? Senpai, Oops, nope, that wasn't it. Move. So, I'll quickly explain. Uh, the number 
in the box with the A button is how much a card costs to use its actual effect. And the what you see in the B button box uh, is movement. So you actually have to spend cards to move. Uh, and then you move one space in the direction denoted. I mean, maybe later cards in the game will move us further spaces, but, you know, whatever. Discard one card, draw one card. Yes, let's do that. Uh, let's get rid of this. Okay, I think I should be fine if I do this. Do this. And then we will move up. Yeah, because it denotes where enemy attacks are going to go before they occur. Actually, if I do this... Oh, I ran out of points. Ah, I wasn't paying attention. Darn. Alright, this is fine, because now we'll break. And when an enemy is broken, they take double damage? Yeah, double damage. If you've played Mega Man Battle Network, especially after they added um, Full Synchro... Uh, yeah, if you've ever played Battle Network. Oh, this is new. Selecting position will allow you to place a card or muse. Doing so will grant you random beneficial support effects at the beginning of battle. Oh, neat. Here, you know what? I'm just going to leave her here. I, I don't know. Whoa! I doubt we're in danger of any real harm, but still, can't be too careful. But yeah, if you've ever played Battle Network, especially the later games. This feels like those games, but, like, fully turn-based. Damage. And we're good! Mmm. I love the way cards can end up synergizing in, in this game. We like boost. I'm gonna take this. Boost is... Boost is good. Uh, you'll see that there are lots of the cards and characters in this game are from other Inti Creates games. This was their weird all-star video game. Ally support effect. Ooh. I just get three boosts at the beginning of the turn. Damn. Damn. We like it. Oh, there's also, you can see a little, like, clock timer denotion on the enemies. That's how you know when they are going to do an action. Uh, let's do... Break. Now they can't, can't attack. And 36 damage. Get rid of her. Let's take this one this time. I'm actually going to leave her. Okay, let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? Here. Whatever. That's fine. I play card games. Do anything shameless to my sister, and I'll destroy you. Here. Let me do this one. Oh, hello. Wait. <laughs> agree, denied. <laughs> Wait, to what? I'm. What am I agreeing or denying? <laughs> Sure, let's agree. Card enhanced. Ooh. It is now minus one cost. Three damage to self when played. Oof. I, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> that does case, it? I'll focus on general support and analyzing mod data. Good for you. Here, I'm curious. Will this... Nope, that didn't... Um... Oh, I took damage, finally. Oh, let's take more of this. I think it's very funny that they decided to give that card a English accent, but it's like a old-timey, like, child beggar <laughs> English accent. Please don't hit me, sir. Well, you know what? We'll take that, because it's zero cost. That's not too bad. Right. Yep. The game is also very fast. Like, every... Not that you have to play it quickly, but because all of the actions and the button presses occur very quickly, which is very nice. Boom! Five damage. There we go. God damn it, NT! What the hell? Like, I know you guys made, um... Oh no, I forgot the name of it. The... Like first person shooter camera game where you where you're looking at x ray vision visioning girls at a school or some shit. I can't remember what it was called. Maybe it's better that I don't. Uh -huh. Are you here to charm your way to my heart? No, I'm kinda just hoping you'll be really useful against the boss, cause 
I, I expected the enemies to have much higher break values. Boom! Sorry, waifu. Oh, uh, you know what? <laughs> I'm just gonna leave her there. That ended up being a decision. So you can, in between stages, it seems that there's going to be uh, a function to, like, enhance cards and maybe have dedicated... Like, you can modify your dedicated starter deck, which is another aspect of why I say it's kind of more like uh, Battle Network. The Battle Network was a deck builder sort of way before that was a big popular... Game. Battle Network is just amazing, and it was like... It was and still is, frankly, such a unique mashup of gameplay and game genres. And the only games that are like Battle Network are games that are explicitly inspired by Battle Network. Boom! 22 damage. Do I need to take out every single... Oh! Hello. <laughs> God, all the spoken dialogue. Oh my God. I, I'm being sorry. I'm being transported back to playing Xenoblade Chronicles. <laughs> Just every time a fight starts, everybody's got to get a word in. When the first card each, I mean, granted, we loved that about the game, but <laughs> when the first card each turn is played, changes zero cost cards cost to three and a three to zero. Woof. Ally support effects at start of turn gain one cost. That. Ah, you can flee by opening the summon you're to play. You can also flee from boss encounters. Interesting. You don't see a lot of games that let you do that. Okay. But, oh, he's got 95 health. Holy dingle dongle. Be a test of our love. Please keep the lighting to a minimum. Let's do this. That. Oh shit. Oh no. You're kidding me. They're all only up or down. Shit. <laughs> oh, damn it! I can't move. Curious. If I do, does this change anything about? It? No. Okay. D fuck. Um. Um. Yeah, I'm getting hit no matter what. Alright, fuck it. We're just gonna, yeah, take the hit. Oh, I'm out of... Damn, okay. Yeah, the problem with that is when you pass turn, the enemies attack. Like, they just immediately go to their action. Okay, this is rough. I, yeah, I don't know if I can win this fight. Hmm. No, we're gonna... Right, I forgot. Break also reduces their attack about damage. Capability, whatever. Okay, so now he'll just do zero damage. Uh... Oh! Oh, I forgot about that. That's a thing that I don't remember. Oh, that's a whole thing I do not remember. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, he's still going to do zero damage. So we'll just use up what we can. Pass the turn. Zero. There are times when it is best not to think too much at all. Doubles all break boost effects. Now we're gonna do this one. There we go. Okay. It sucks because I don't actually have any of my humongous damage cards. Yeah, that sucks. But that's still damage. Yo, we got it. We got it. Nice. I don't know. I, 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 I'm so hung up on zero cost cards, but also like cards that generate more cards. Oh, that was the actual boss of the floor. 
curious now. Oh, okay. So they're childhood friends, and they used to get along. So, huh. events cause Shinya to Looking at the minimap, I'm wondering why, like, why that one room is pulsing, but it doesn't seem to be the room with the boss. All right, let's just take some dudes out real quick. I think I'm fine, because, yeah, I'll just do this. I'm going to take this. I feel like I keep not having damage cards when I need it. Boom. Even tough times can lead. Boom. So we're gonna take. We're gonna do some recovery. Yeah. You late for class? Just you just peeked at my thrusters, didn't you? Yes. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Nothing came of that. Oh. Ah. He hated the fact that he always had to be protected. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> oh yeah, whatever. 19 damage. Right, whatever. Oh, that was 16 damage. I'm a even tough time. Ah, there we go. Boom. I haven't done anything wrong. Incredible. Free cards are the best. Ooh. Oh. Totally normal childhood friend. Galgun. That was it. That was the game I was trying to think of earlier. <laughs> Draw zero cost cards until your hand is full. That's interesting. The main gadget in I look forward to you observing. Jesus balls, dude. Mid periods are assigned to close shop early. Hello. Where did you come from? 42 break. Oh, I don't have three. Oh, but, nope, because I don't have three AP, so I can't. Or whatever it's called. I'm calling it AP. There, whatever. High damage. High damage gets around problems. God, I, I want to place things. But I'm now I'm getting my butt kicked because I'm not playing well. <laughs> uh, let's just get rid of you. Boom! Discard one to draw two. Ah, there we go. Discard one to deal thirteen. There we go. Ah, here we go. Boost. Then we can just immediately take this guy out. Stronger sense require more refined technique. And then I'm an idiot. Oh, I might as well since I'm about to take a big hit. There, get out of here. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, good timing. There's something I want to ask you. What sort of girls do you like? Did Does NT Creates just have to get it out of their system every so often? I like Airheads the candy, or at least used to. Little sister in the Whatever. Nineteen damage. Even tough times can lead to Move. There we go. Oh, thank gosh. I I did math wrong. Okay, that's vanishing one to draw two. That's an actually okay. And advantage. We're just gonna do that. Oh, that was. Why did I do that? There are times when it is whatever. We got it this time. Oh, but it's all green. Is, oh, it is a fight. Okay, weird. Oh, it's because that's my greed effect from the other room. Okay, gain three boost. Okay, that's good. Oh, she's going to take and move immediately unless I just do this. Uh, and then wipe her out. <laughs> Flame Saber! God, the amount of friggin' vocal dialogue. Oh, hi. It's weird. I guess it's because she only costs one, which makes it a lot easier to use. Oh, I have re-rolls! That's fine. I'm taking this guy anyway. <laughs> Interesting. So now this floor here is half red, half green. Enemy Muse Effect. When the first card you turn is played, discard the three leftmost cards in hand and draw two. Huh. Huh. 
Boom! We'll get draw, just draw three cards. I'm taking this one. Also, that's the main character of NT Create's most recent game. Umberclaw. I remembered it in time. Oh, hi, Zonda. Ooh, I forgot about you for a moment. Have you heard the good word? <laughs> the text is going outside the box. Woof. You there, boy. Allow me to awaken your muse to the wonders of love. Select a muse to enhance. Yeah, sure. I only have the one. So, do it. Start a battle, forge a random common card that contributes to performance conditions. Sure. Yeah, yo, get over here. How could this happen to me? Saber. More of you. Damage and cards. So I see. So I think maybe if we take out this, then that, then there'd be no nothing giving bonuses to the boss. Fiddlesticks, I say. Whatever. I only need to do two damage. Boom. Boom. There we go. What'll that do to help me? Uh. All right. Ooh, it's it's the Kibby from Umberclaw. Wait, the cat's only got 19 health. Yeah. <laughs> there. Okay. Cool. Oh, why did I? Oh, hi. Um, you know what? I want to. I I just want to. Oh, hello. This equipment is beyond me. Would you like it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. You know what? Just don't let it control you. All right, boss fight. Start a turn, draw two cards, gain three attack, and a break. And start a turn, gain three boost. I feel like we're starting pretty freaking strong in that regard. Um... Shame that doesn't pass all the way through. Oh, that sucked. Um, that's fine, because now she'll do zero damage, yeah. Okay. He'll attack in three moves. Can I do... Damn. I don't really have any way of getting AP back at, the, at this point, so... I think the best play here... is to be irritated about my lack of movement options. Okay, we're gonna do... We're gonna move up. Instead, oh, hold on. If I do this, yeah. Let's go. I want to have a conversation. Of course. Okay. I th I think I screwed that up somehow. Uh, that's my bad. Let's just. God damn it. Oh, I'm, I'm, okay, fuck okay, it, I'm just gonna take the hit. I'm bad at everything. I'm bad at everything, it's true. Here we go. Now we're getting some benefit out of the friggin' ridiculous buffs. Here we go. Alright, alright, alright. You've piqued my interest. I'm just gonna use that as a card. Okay. Didn't do great on health, but... Plenty damage, plus damage per three cost card used this turn. 
Okay, so there's clearly a deck archetype in this game that's like three cost cards, but then you somehow make them cost nothing. And or get AP back, get refunded your AP and all that. Okay, last floor. So based on what you told me, Shinya has a little sister? Yep, her name's Sakuya. She's a virtual idol who performs on the net. An idol? For now. <laughs> well then. All right, let's see if we can just run in there and do it. Oh, they've even got their partners with them. That guy's got some major error vibes, Mahiru. Vibes? <laughs> Is it talking about the error fragment? That's slang. Don't worry about it. Every company's trying to shove it into their games now. Do you have error data on you? Then we've got a bad. <gasps> I like how that thing he's data. holding is. Oh no! Wait, is that his collar that I'm looking at? I wish I could see a better picture. There. It looks like he's holding a digivice. Connect and fix it. All I need is for you to hand over the partition data. Allow me to take the initiative. Monjiro, attack! I'm so sorry. Oh, he is absolutely he holding a Digivice. Whoa! That's the spirit, Shinya. But I won't lose when it comes to battling. Time to connect everyone. Let's all connect. I'm detecting a powerful presence. We should call an Alfred for help. Sh should we? Wild cards! You can forge a wild card into your hand once per turn. Once a wild card has been selected, you can't select that card again until you leave the dungeon. You choose your wild cards back in home base. Uh, press left trigger to view wild cards. Okay. Let's do it. Press A to forge card to... Press A to forge card into your card. Yo, dog. Sure. Okay. I'm going to be super honest with you. Yeah, so it's just like, if I use it to move, I get all the amp effects. My sword will reach you. Okay. That's fine, then. Double the potency of all amp effects. Alright. Alright, we're there. We're there. We're... Okay, let's see here. Wait, shouldn't that have done more? Hmm. I need to do this to take as little damage as possible. Wait, that didn't... Shoot. Please keep... Did they get you? Oh God! <laughs> Let's connect even more. Oh. Oh. Your life. Oh, I didn't realize. What? Oh no no no. Okay, hold on, hold on. No, okay, I didn't. I'm at seven. This guy's special. Let's show him our bonds as well. Genia, you seek up to me, Mutt. She's in a connector. Hard drive. <laughs> What the hell? Oh, I thought they were gonna turn into some knockoff Omega Mon. <laughs> Perform final reboot on this summon. If zero, it'll end our breakdown. Okay. Uh, oh, shit. Okay, yep, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just dead. Oops. I didn't mean to move up, but... Uh... Also, he did actually totally turn into a knockoff. Oh, that sucks for the video. Getting all the way to the boss and then dying. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, no, I think this game's actually really fun. Jesus, the Inti being a little... Inti creates getting... Apparently needing to let some steam off with it, though. But, uh... Yeah, um, no, I really, really enjoyed this. So, uh... There you go. Card on CL. Card on CL.
Card on CL. Okay. I've been calling it just saying card and seal. Card on CL. All right. Well, there you go. That's the demo for card on CL. It's a really cool kind of pseudo, like roguelite, I guess, deck builder kind of Mega Man Battle Network-y thing. Uh, check it out.